Hey everybody, I just wanted to show you something that I found on the internet uh, that I thought was pretty helpful. Um, I went out and I purchased a uh, M1A a Scout Squad and the only thing they had it, uh, the only color they had it in was the black. Now there's nothing wrong with the black, it's just that uh, the black on the black, I wanted a little bit of contrast. I wanted the old look of the old M1 uh, Grand. So uh, anyway, I looked for wood stocks and you couldn't find one. They're all out of stock and if they're not out of stock, they're priced astronomically. So I went online and uh, I was looking around and all I could see was how to paint your synthetic stock camo. Everything was camo. And I've got nothing against camo. It's not what I'm looking for in a gun, though. Uh, I don't mind putting leaves and bushes and branches all over my rifle and then spray painting it with a uh, um, can of Krylon. But there's got to be something else out there um, other than camo. And looking on YouTube, I really couldn't find much of anything unless it's at a body shop and you're custom painting it to look like in a zombie uh, apocalypse or something like that. I didn't want that either. So since I couldn't get the real wood, I was on a quest to find out how to make the plastic synthetic black stock look like wood. And then when looking in the arts and craft area, that's where I found Miss Kiss of Miss Kiss Creations on YouTube. Uh, this young lady uh, is very talented and she's using uh, paint to make uh, stainless steel tumblers, like coffee tumblers, uh, look like wood grain. And she's painting this on there, and I'm like, well, if she's doing that on aluminum or stainless steel, I can do that probably on the black synthetic stock of the M1A Scout. So I watched her videos and uh, decided to give it a try. So I dismantled the rifle and then I uh, wiped it down with alcohol and uh, to get rid of any gun oils or any fingerprints or anything like that. And then I spray painted it with uh, two or three coats of the painter primer Rust-Oleum stuff she was using in a nutmeg color. Same thing she used on the tumbler. And then I had to go get the paints uh, and the ink paints that she's using and so uh, I went to Michael's. What I was looking for is Ranger Alcohol Ink. Never heard of it before. Uh, it looks like you just put a couple drops on something and then you wipe it with a, uh, a brush or a, like I used a makeup brush and you go from front to back and you just, I did the same thing that Miss Kiss Crea from Creations there did it. And um, I started to worry at first because I'm like, wow, this is looking kind of weird. But, um, I did use uh, the alcohol ink. Uh, first one was uh, teak wood. I used a lot of that. Um, I used some called honey, and I used a little bit of rosewood, which was almost like uh, uh, rose-colored red. But when you blend these together and you just kind of brush it along, uh, it takes a little bit of practice, but if you make a mistake, you just get some alcohol and you wipe it down and you, you, you go over it again. Uh, so it's pretty much idiot proof. So anyway, here's a couple more pictures of it after I finished uh, at least applying the ink. And one of the things that Miss Kiss does and other people that do tumblers do is they put an epoxy uh, on their tumblers to make it really glossy and shiny. Obviously, I can't use an epoxy. And when you put just the ink down, it's very delicate. I mean, you just brush against it lightly and it's going to scratch that and it's going to get right down to the primer again. So I, you know, I would dab it over again with some more ink. But uh, to set this, uh, one of the things that uh, Miss Kiss suggested was the uh, Krylon acrylic, uh, the crystal clear acrylic. And uh, I hung it up out uh, in the uh, the back area where it wasn't away from the wind and dust and debris and I was able to spray this thing and I gave it uh, two or three coats with the uh, Krylon crystal uh, acrylic and um, let it set inside uh, in a warm house 
till it got to the uh, two hour curing time. And when I did spray the Krylon on it, it, it some of the ink turned like a green color a little bit, um, which wasn't too bad, but I, I mean, I noticed it was a little bit an olive color. But uh, once this stuff cured, I was able to go over the whole stock with brown shoe polish and polish it up. And I got a nice uh, semi-gloss off the stock. And people that see the rifle, they just say, wow, wow, that's really nice. Look at that wood stock. Look at the grain on that thing. That is, wow, that is nice. That's a good looking rifle. And that's exactly what I was looking for. And I just... I don't think I could have done it without uh, bumping into Miss Kiss Creation. So if, you, if you're watching this, I don't know if I'm allowed to link to her site or not. But uh, type in Wood Tumblr and then look for Miss Kiss Creations with a K. Creations with a K. Uh, like her page, subscribe it. She seems like a really great kid. And she helped me out uh, make this rifle. And I'm hoping that she'll be able to help you as well. So thanks for watching. Sorry about the long story, but there's not much out there on YouTube on how to turn black synthetic into wood. So have a good day.